The Hanging Gardens of Babylon was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Oh wait, this is not that type of channel. Sure, I cover vintage stuff, but not this vintage. I cover vintage stuff like these movies. Follow the yellow brick road. The Hanging Garden was directed Tom Fitzgerald's debut film, written and directed by Fitzgerald and released in 1997 to rave reviews. It's even been considered as the 11th best Canadian film of the preceding 15 years back in 2001. At the 1997 Toronto International Film Festival, it won the People's Choice Award and several other awards at other film festivals as well as the GLAAD Media Award nomination for Outstanding Film in 1999. The film currently holds a 71% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and Variety Magazine's review of the film wrote that, in many ways, this is a simple yarn of a son dealing with the usual family demons and, on that level, is an affecting piece of filmmaking. Beyond that, the mix of film school formalism and down-to-earth drama makes the film a unique offering. You can die to kiss him. You have to, you've been dying to kiss him. Go ahead. Go to bed. Go ahead. Kiss him. Before gay men were represented in films, TV and magazines, gay men had to get their fix in the form of fitness magazines. These types of magazines featured male models in various poses and were known as beefcake magazines. Is it just me or did the men look a little bit more manly back then? I mean in comparison with today's fitness magazines that glorify the perfect face and the perfect body. Imperfections is what makes you perfect, in my opinion. The 1999 documentary Beefcake takes an in-depth look at this phenomena from the 1940s and 50s, particularly Physique Pictorial magazine published quarterly by Bob Miser. Physique Pictorial was one of the leading Beefcake magazines during its time of publishing between 1951 and 1990. If you didn't know who Bob Miser was, here's a little summary. Bob Miser was an American photographer and filmmaker known for pushing the boundaries of publishing and depicting male homoerotic content with his work in the mid-20th century. Bob Miser's earliest photographs appeared in 1942 in both color and black and white. He began his photography career apprenticing with former silent film star Frederick Cover, who operated a film studio in Hollywood. 1999's Beefcake was also written and directed by Tom Fitzgerald and includes recreations and homoerotic hanky-panky scenes which is made in the style reflects content story of Bob Miser. Many film critics have voiced disappointment with the film which is a follow-up of Tom Fitzgerald's Hanging Gardens which is considered one of the few memorable movies made in Canada during the 1990s. If you're new to this channel, I post videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. No videos on a Monday though, because I don't like Mondays. I don't like Mondays. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe so you can stay up to date as soon as I post new videos. For a similar video to this one, click on this link.